everybody, JC here from Toy News International and MarvelousNews.com. And tonight I'm throwing together a quick video to give you a look at the brand new Marvel Legends that were put on display at Hasbro's pre-New York Comic Con media event. There were a couple new figures shown, a new Old Man Logan figure. Now this unpainted one that you're seeing here, this is the final production piece. The painted one you see next to it is the actual prototype version. And they brought this unpainted one out basically to give us, they just got this in basically. And so they brought it and were showing it to us to give us a look at the final look of the figure minus the paint. And definitely I like the look of this figure. Now this is part of the X-Men Legends wave. Also Shatterstar is the other figure in this wave. This is part of the X-Men Legends wave that was initially announced at San Diego Comic Con. So for the, just to recap, the figures in that wave also include Dazzler, Sunfire, Colossus, Polaris, the Jim Lee Cyclops, and the Warlock Build-A-Figure. So we finally got to look at the final two figures in that wave. Now the other two new figures that they had on display were Adam Warlock and Death Death Head, and both of these they say are teasers and they're not confirming that these are part of the same wave or anything or where they'll show up or how they'll show up. I'm guessing that both of these figures will be part of the same wave, probably an upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy wave. They also did not confirm if the Death's Head was a Build-A-Figure or not, but I'm guessing it is. Now for the Spider-Man Legends, they also had some new Spider-Man Legends on, on display. We had seen this wave, most of this wave at San Diego Comic-Con, but we're getting a look at the Sandman figure and the Shocker figure for the first time and Sandman's going to have alternate heads a regular head and then the half sand head and then the other figures just to recap include the Green Goblin the Jackal Black Costume Spider-Man Spider-Man UK Miss Marvel Spider-Man 2099 and again, I like the Sandman. It looks better than the one we saw in the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version. And he's got a pair of alternate hands and everything. And I also like the Shocker figure. I think they did a good job with that. And here's a look at both of the heads, which are going to come with the Green Goblin figure. So, you know, not a whole lot new tonight at, at Hasbro's event, but definitely some cool figures. I'm really digging the, the Death's Head and the Shocker. Um, I really like those. We got some packaging shots for some of these Spider-Man figures as well. And just some more looks from behind and everything. So if you want to see full images of all of these, head over to MarvelousNews.com. I'll put a link in the video description below. We've got some nice high-res images for you to check out. And stay tuned for more uh, New York Comic Con coverage coming over the weekend. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. <laughs>